hey, it's Wednesday. That means it's underwater Wednesday. But right now we are above ground. We are in the tackle room because we have to do some. We got to do a little math. How were you at math when you were in high school? I actually really liked math. That's good because what we're going to talk about today is geometry. And I was terrible at geometry. I think it was the teacher. It just didn't mm. work out. Guys, I know that what we're talking about might get you clicking off, but we're going to make geometry apply to your fishing. You're going to want to learn this. I'm telling you, if my high school math teacher told me that geometry would help me with fishing, I'd have probably gotten a better grade. Oh. Stick around. So we're talking about drop shot geometry here, guys. Oh, good. You're still here. <laughs> you didn't click off yet. We're going to make this quick just so that you get this. And then we're going to move to the pool and show you, demonstrate how this works. Hey, guys, I think you'll get a lot out of this video. So if you could please subscribe to the channel, that would be great. Um, also, please don't forget to like the videos and write us your comments. Um, that is a really cool thing to see. We're getting more of them, and we really appreciate it. Absolutely. And guys, this is going to help you conceptualize when you're tying on that drop shot to know what length leader you're going to want. Let's look at the board and kind of start from the beginning. If you can take a look at this diagram that we have here. I'm just kind of demonstrating, if this is you in the boat and you're in 10 feet of water, your rod is actually probably adding another 10 feet to the length of the distance of an angle. We're talking about the Pythagorean theorem here, guys. Don't let that scare you away yet. We've got a total of 10 feet above the water and 10 feet depth. So that's going to be 20 feet on that right angle. And if I make a 90 foot cast, I need to know what that distance is of that angle. Doing Using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, I can find out that I covered about 87.75 feet of distance. None of that really matters right now because what I'm trying to get at is that distance that my bait is over the floor of the, of the lake. Let me show you this. This is a standard drop shot rig. There's my bait, and then I've got a leader leading to my weight. You can see the distance is about two feet, okay? The point that I'm making is, is that with a, if I were to drop this directly under my boat, coming back to this diagram, then I would actually be, have my bait at two feet above wow. the floor of the lake, the bottom of the lake. But when I make my cast, that two feet then becomes a much shallower angle. And if you use the proportion where I'm making a 90 foot cast over a 20 foot height, and I'm looking at that smaller proportion with a three foot leader, that means that the height of that bait is actually about seven inches. It's about 0 0.60 feet off the bottom of the lake. All of a sudden, my bait that used to be two feet off the bottom is now riding six inches off the floor of the lake. And this leader is trailing behind, two feet behind it, which I don't think a lot of anglers conceptualize. I think they still think that this bait is riding two feet above the floor of the lake. Put yourself in a position where you've got even just the slightest amount of grass along the floor of the lake. Let's say you got six inches of, of grass or even a foot of grass. 
If you're doing a, a short leader, a two foot leader on your drop shot, this bait is now picking up all that grass and you're not fishing it effectively. You need a longer leader. What you really want to be thinking about is on a decent cast, a 90 foot cast, you're going to want that leader to be at least, at minimum, three foot in length just to keep your bait six inches or seven inches above the floor of the lake. If you want that bait to ride higher, you're going to need to either shorten your cast or lengthen your leader so that your bait rides higher in the water column. So you need to pay attention to the geometry in order to make a decision about how long of a leader you need with your drop shot. Okay. Guys, I hope this helped. We, we appreciate all your comments. Like Megan said earlier, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Thanks, and we'll have another video for you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night.